Hey folks, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One, and we're looking at a awesome little tweak that Adobe made in the latest upgrade to Lightroom uh, Classic. It's version 7.4. They added a number of different things just to make working in Lightroom better, and this is one that I think this little tweak, it's actually a change in the behavior of how auto stack by capture time works. <laughs> but if you don't know what stacking is, it won't help. So let me talk about stacking first. So stacking is a great organizational tool. So see all these images here? A lot of them look the same, right? Well, like for example, down here I have a pano. Why do I have to see 15 shots that look almost all identical? So what you can do to keep things organized is select those images, press Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows, and it stacks those 15 images under just one thumbnail, right? 15 images, just this one thumbnail. Really, really handy way to stay organized. Now, I'm gonna click and you can see what's inside that stack. You can see there's 15 images and to unstack it, you just click again. You can also press the letter S as a nice shortcut. And so you could go through here, you know, quickly and find images that are very similar, right? And just manually do this. Command G on Mac, Control G on Windows. But there's a better way, and it's called Auto Stack by Capture Time. And Lightroom will do the stacking for you. Go under the Photo menu, under Stacking, and choose Auto Stack by Capture Time. And what it'll do is it'll look at the amount of time between each image, like how much time did you take between shots? Because it figures, yeah, if you're shooting a pano, you probably took two seconds between each shot. Click, one, two, click, click click and, and it'll put those together. It'll automatically like put together things like panos and HDRs and stuff based on the amount of time. And you use this slider to determine how much time. Well, if by default, this one says it's one minute between shots, it would stack my entire shoot and organize it for me into just eight little thumbnails. That would be awesome. Now, if you want less time between, instead of one minute, you can go down to 11 seconds, or you can go up to an hour, in which case I would only have two stacks, one for when I shot on one side of Dubai, and one when I shot on the other side of Dubai. All right, so here's where the little tweak comes in. And I've been teaching and talking about this on my Lightroom seminar tour, which is when I show auto stack by capture time, I show what I what I think is um, an, a, a weird, a weird, result like when you click stack what do you think would happen well you would see the in this case eight thumbnails right but that's not what happens by default by default you click stack and it does the stacking but it leaves all the stacks expanded where you can see the images so it looks in the old version of lightroom or which was now a week old <laughs> it looks like this so you'd click stack and it looks like this so it, it, you're not sure did it work <laughs> So, and, and so here's, here's what I did. I, I, I made a video about this and I wrote to Adobe and said, Hey, when you, you, when you click that button, it doesn't look like anything happened. And so what I've been teaching in my seminar is this, go under the photo menu, go to stacking. And I tell my students, go choose collapse all stacks. Then it looks like what you expect it to look like. And what I wrote to Adobe was I, I, I when I talk to people about this feature, they're like, yeah, I tried it and it, I didn't I didn't really use it because it didn't look like it was working. <laughs> so I said, if we if this was the default, in other words, when you clicked it, this is what you saw, people would go, my gosh, this is awesome because it really is an awesome feature. So now let me show you what happens now. So let's undo that. Okay, so here's how it works now after this awesome tweak from Adobe. Go into the photo menu, go to stacking, choose auto stack by capture time. And now when you click stack watch, it gives you the expected behavior, which is it's down to just those things. So it's it's a little tweak, but these little tweaks that Adobe makes, they just make our, our lives better. And in this case, I think it will get more people to use this awesome tool because now you know all I have to do is open up a shoot, go to auto stack by capture time. I click the button and it tidies up my uh, collection for me. So anyway, just wanted to show you that. And I also wanted to thank Adobe um, for listening to everybody because uh, you've seen how many changes they've done recently and my hat's off to them on 
that they keep tweaking Lightroom. They keep making it faster. They keep making it more um, user-friendly, easier to discover features. And I think this is just one of those things that kind of flew under the radar. And I'm very grateful that... Uh, that Adobe made this change. I think it'll make it better for everybody. So thanks for watching, guys. Also, hey, while I got your attention, head over to kelby1.com and just check it out. Give it a look. We have tons and tons of Lightroom training. We've got class after class after class, full-length classes that go into depth on every possible topic of Lightroom that you would ever want to know. So go, please go check it out. I would greatly appreciate it. It's over at kelby1.com. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll catch you next time.